Hi guys, this is Dustin with uh, TechMD bringing you a video on a teardown of LG G5. Um, if you want to see my review, please click on the links down below. I'll have a, um, a link for that here. So unfortunately, YouTube has made me do 15 minute videos at the, as the maximum because of a content strike and I can't make videos longer than 15 minutes after until July 5th. So just letting you know that in advance, uh, so that way you guys know what to expect. All right, so I'm gonna start tearing down the LG G5. I popped out the battery with a little button off to the right here. And I'm just gonna start organizing my screws here. If I can figure out how to remove this screw. I'm just putting my fingernail under the screw and pulling it up. And that worked for a second until it popped back in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and magnetize my screwdriver. Hopefully we can get into this device here. All my videos are done at 60 frames a second, or a lot of them are. Uh, this video is recorded also with the Galaxy 7 which gets quite hot after recording for 30 minutes. I noticed the phone was blazing hot. Okay, That screw came out a lot easier. Um, oh, I do want to point out that the, the glass is curved over the edge here, so it might make it pretty hard to um, do glass repair on this. I don't have glass only yet, so it's not available. I do have full assembly, so if I do break it, I can get a full assembly. If I don't break it, then I have to clean the glass off so I can redo the loca. So I'm assuming this is going to slide out or some sort or pull out. Not exactly sure here. I think it would slide out. That would make the most sense. I can't get any sliding action here, guys. So, my next thought would be a little tool around here. Nope. Can't get under that yet. Ha! Oops. Well, there goes that one. Let's try Jerry Rig everything green tool here. I'm sure, he's going to make a better video. He always seems to make better videos than I do. Jerry Rig everything is pretty awesome. But he hasn't made a video yet of the LG G5, so I figured I'll beat him to it. Definitely got some pressure right here. Does not want to come up. It's got me a little worried.
Trying to investigate here. Let's get my metal tool. I didn't want to use that if I didn't have to, but. There we go. Looks like it's clipped down. Whoa. No way. Wow. What a phone. Here we go, unplug that. That's an LCD cable. Go ahead and unplug the head. Oh. Camera. One, two cameras here. And we're gonna unplug the front camera, it looks like. Maybe. Yeah, and clip just like little Legos, guys. I'm stealing that coin term from uh, Jerry Rig Everything. But I'm giving him lots of props. He's a great video maker. Okay, anyways. Let's get all these screws out here. Just regular double sided Phillips. Pretty straightforward. This really does feel like a modular phone. Really simple. Okay, there's one more screw right there. Oh. No heat pipes in this one, it looks like. There's the other camera right here. That comes off just like a like a little Lego. <laughs> it's clipped on there. Looks like there's some kind of antenna cable that goes around this. Goes all around. No need to unclip that. And front camera just rolls right out. Those speakers are always evil removing those. You gotta be careful, sometimes they separate. If you do want to remove them, I would suggest using heat. A really good pry tool. So this one connects actually at right there to the motherboard, two connectors. There's the other camera. It looks like there's a piece right here. There's nothing going on the side, but the whole LCD cable is right underneath this um, object. So. Since this doesn't have a separate connector, a digitizer connector, and it's actually the backlight soldered on, it looks like it has a backlight. Um, so it's not OMLED. And it doesn't have a digitizer connection, so the glass separation should be very possible on this. I'm not exactly sure what this connects to. Probably the proximity sensor, but the proximity sensor is over here, so maybe some kind of, I'm not sure. Antenna possibly because these are antenna connections here. So our next option is to uh, put this on the hot plate and start separating it. Woo, this sounds fun. So I'm going to put this on the hot plate for about, I would say, three minutes. And then it will be able to separate it here. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera around. Okay, so it's been on the heater for at least three minutes, maybe a little over. 
Now you can use a suction cup to lift the glass off, but um, like my eye slack here. But there's really no point because that's really not demonstrating on how to separate the glass and LCD. Um, we're going to pretend it's actually cracked and broken and you wouldn't be able to do that with the suction cup. So I think those videos who use suction cups are pointless. It's better to use the tools in order to get inside the device. So I got my eye sesame tool modified here and I got my eye flex tool that I just barely got and really like it. Just a really ultra thin piece of metal. Uh, as you can see, they're actually a little bit thinner than my eye sesame tool. Okay. So we're going to have to get this piece uh, lifted up because we're going to pull the whole entire unit up. So the very first thing we're going to do is just get under. And just carefully lift this up. Rig everything. Tools come in handy. Thank you, Zach. Looks like it's under this piece here, so we're gonna lift that piece out too. Ooh, I went flying. Okay, I'm just gonna set that piece off to the side. The whole cable is coming up right there. Okay, now we're ready to actually take the unit out. So I've never seen a video on how to do this guys, so I'm just letting you know that this is world's first here. Hope I do this right. It's going to get in between that glass right there. So this modular design is supposed to be, you're supposed to be able to replace it. Just this piece here, but not, not the actual glass itself. They still want you to, they still want to make money on that. So I can see under the, the digitizer here, or the backlight, so I need to dig deeper. In order to do that, I probably need a second tool to get under there. You don't want to get under that backlight or you'll ruin it or in between the backlight. So see that white? I'm below it. I'm going to go all the way down here. Just slowly cut. Just because, just in case there's some hidden cables under here that we don't know about. We're going to go ahead and lift this up. World's first here. Pretty sure it's world's first teardown too, but not sure if I beat everyone. I just got it this morning, so. Just gonna go slowly along. adhesive up top. Just going to get in between the camera here. Bending it very softly here. Just I don't want to ruin it, but let's give it a little bit more heat. About another minute here. Okay, 